Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, so we are trying to upload the file. So if you try to see here, so this is our file. And if I click on this choose file and let's wait. So if I am trying to upload any CSS file or anything and here we are able to get the what is the file and what is the total size of this file and what is the type of this file. We are able to get it. So how we are able to get this one? So here when we are having input type is equal to file and on file selected, we are able to get the event. And using that event, in that event, we are getting it as an input input HTML input element with the targeted target element. And here we are trying to get it using the input dot files of zero. And I am storing this one in the selected file. So fine. So this one is done. So now the next one, what I want to do it is so on file selected is completed. So here on submit. So whenever the user tries to submit, I am I am triggering the method on submit. So let's try to implement the on submit method. So if if the user ha doesn't have any selected file, just I will try to return it. So I am for validation purpose, I am doing it. So for this one, so let's try to make an HTTP call. So for this one, what I was trying to do. So here I will be trying to import the HTTP. So let's inject the HTTP. So here I will be giving HTTP is equal to inject of HTTP client. Okay, so that's it. So we have injected the HTTP and here I will be trying to make the HTTP call. This dot HTTP dot get off. So here we don't have a server. So let's try, I will create a Node.js server for the time being. So this will, that, that will contain in such a way that 3000 slash API slash upload. Okay. So this is the thing. And for this one, so we need to send the form data. So for that one, we let's prepare the form data. Constant form data is equal to new form data. I will be creating the form data. And we got the form data. So form data dot append of file so i will try to send the uh, this dot selected file that's it so now i am trying to send the file so now here i will try to send the form data form data i am trying to send the form data and here so we need to provide it report progress is equal to true report sorry report progress report progress So report progress, report progress is true and also we can have another one is observe, observe events as constant that's it. So here this is the thing and this one is not a post get data it's a post data sorry I am my mistake and this one is not observer so it is an observe. So now we are trying to make a request. So here you will be getting a dot subscribe. Okay. And here you will be getting the event. Okay. The type of event you will get it. So now let's try to create the node.js node server for the time being. So I will have a simple uh, server.js file. So for our thing server.js file. So here in this one. So I will create, I will write the code which is required for this one. So here um, constant express is equal to require of express and the another one is constant constant app is equal to express so we will be calling the express and here we can have a builder come builder thing so constant builder is equal to require so it will store the file directly into our particular builder the library will store directly the file into a particular destination so here this one also will try to save it and i will create yeah fine and we can have a course also constant course is equal to require of course sorry require of course that's it so now these are all the things and now here constant app is equal to express and here also you can use constant <coughs> upload is equal to so builder so we we are providing the upload path where we need to upload it so destination so i will provide the destination and that one is uploads so i will try to give it the destination uploads that's it so don't worry don't uh, bother about this one so just i am trying to create the uh, node.js server so here i will be having something like app.post so here i will be making app.post of so whenever the user comes with the slash api slash upload okay and here i will try to get the file upload sorry upload 
dot single of file so this is the name which we will be getting it and here we will be having the request comma response sorry and here i will be having the request comma response and in this one i will try to do response dot status i will send the status of 200 sorry 200 and here i can have a send message and here i can show message is equal to file uploaded sorry uploaded uploaded successfully that's it finish file uploaded successfully so that's the thing so now here i will do app dot listen of app dot listen of 3000 and here i can use console dot log of server running in localhost 3000 that's it so this is the message which i was trying to show so this is our uh, server a node.js server and now what i will try to do it is so here i will start the server so here i will use node server.js file node node server.js file already i have installed all these packages so if you don't have these packages means you can install using npm install express npm install builder and npm install course so these three libraries are required in order to run this one so here server is running in the 3000 server so now we can say uh, carefully we can call this localhost 3000 api slash upload so now we are trying to send the data so now first of all what i want to do i want to know the progress of this one so here we got the event and let's try to get the switch case so here i will use switch case event dot type so we will get the event dot type and in this one the first type is case so here http event type dot you will be having these all the things i already tell you about this one all so we can get the upload progress okay and in this one if event dot total so this is the thing if event dot total is there means so we are able to get the total value how much percentage it has been happened and here i can use the this dot progress so for the time being what i can do it is so here i can maintain the progress is equal to minus one okay so the progress has not been done so here this dot progress is equal to math dot round of and here total event dot loaded so event dot loaded so the total thing divided by event dot total okay so here into 100 that's it so this is the thing and that's it so here you can use simply after the if break and you can have another case in such a way that case so another one is http event type dot response so when you got the response then you can make it as an upload complete true so that means the upload complete has been done so i can use something like upload complete to false so first first time the upload complete has not been happened and here when we are getting the response means so you can maintain it as this dot upload complete is equal to true so you can make it and here i can make it as an this dot progress is equal to 100 so i will try to make it as this dot progress is equal to 100 and here you can do console.log upload complete and if you want to check the data means so you can use event dot body that's it so this is also one thing and here you can use the break and default case also if you want you can write it so default means nothing but it's a break only so default thing so nothing we need to do so just you can use the break that's it and here okay so the default we need to keep it at the top so fine right so now this is this is the switch case which i have written it so that's it so now if you want to check the uh, upload progress for this one so what we can do it is so here what i will try to do let's go to the html file and here i will do some html for this one so do okay at the rate if so when progress <coughs> progress is greater than or equal to zero so then means it is starting the progress is starting so here i want to show the percentage of this one so here i can show the percentage for this one so here i will try to show uh, p upload upload progress is equal to so here i can show the progress 
so that is nothing but the percentage in the percentage you will be getting so from 0 to 1 you will be getting and then I, I am showing it here and also here you can use the progress HTML element and in this one so value you can pass the value 0 to 100 and that one is nothing but progress you can have it and the max value is there is nothing but 100 that's it and now at the rate uh, you can also use at the rate if uh, upload is complete so then if you are getting this one as complete means then you can use uh, do upload complete so here you can use the upload complete that's it so now if you try to see the output for this one so let's try to see the output so here uh, let's see here in this one mm, let's inject the common module uh, because in order to make this if conditions and all if directives and all those things to work now if i refresh this page okay if i refresh this page and if i click on the choose element and here i am trying to select the css file and i am clicking on the submit so here you'll be able to see upload 100 percent and upload is complete and we are able to make it successfully the request call also and the response also we are able to get it as an file uploaded successfully but we'll try to upload a bigger file so something like i have an mp4 file so which is a video file I am trying to upload this file so when I click on this submit so you see it is taking some time to complete see here we are able to get the progress and also now we are able to get it so here if you are trying to observe carefully we can also able to get it so here I am trying to click on the submit so it is in the pending state so it is telling you the success and we are able to get it so in this way we can show the upload progress so like this we can show it in the angular 19 uh, file upload progress hope you understood about this concept so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you